What is up guys welcome back to a new video today we will be reviewing another amazing crypto project but first I would like to announce a giveaway of $50 in BNB I know it's not much but we're still starting up in this channel we're creating videos every single day and I think it's a good amount to start off this giveaway trend so $50 will be given away in BNB to the best comment in this video so make sure to leave your comments down below and having said this let's start with the video so guys, today we're going to be reviewing MetFX. It's very cool. I mean, it's an interesting project, uh, very original in my opinion. You can see their website. If you have noticed, their logo is quite similar to Netflix. That's pretty cool. So basically, they implement a watch to earn protocol. So you get paid basically for watching movies and videos online. So here you can see what the app would look like a little bit in the future. It's not available yet on the App Store or on the Google Play Store, as you know, for pre-sales. Here they have a big pre-sale button, which will take you to another launchpad, which is not Pink Sale. They are running pre-sales in two different platforms. I will show them in more detail later on. So here we could see some of the content that would be available on the app. You can see movies like Her. You can see movies like Her. They're pretty, pretty big movies. Here we can see the upcoming features of this project, the NFT marketplace driving movies, the metaverse, and the watch to earn public launch. Okay, guys, the token symbol, as you can see, is MFX. Here we can see some of the features of the token. Number one is movie. MetFX users can watch movies on the Android, iOS, or website, or through a VR headset. Watch to earn on our streaming app and earn MetFX tokens. So that is pretty cool. Watch to earn protocol seems a really amazing thing because most of the time we watch um, on Netflix or I don't know HBO or Prime Video whatever platform you use to stream videos and being able to get rewarded by watching content is pretty amazing in my opinion. Number two is Metaverse so you can own property land and build your real estate in the city and number three is the NFT marketplace where users will be able to sell and trade their NFTs. Here we can see a preview of the NFTs they look pretty cool and here we can see the KYC certificate this is very important guys you always have to look out for kyc projects because this is a guarantee that a person at least has been fully doxxed and they have the, their identification and their data in case anything happens with the project so this is a really important thing to look out in a crypto project as well as the audit here we can meet some of the members of the team you can see arnaya fayad i'm sorry if i don't <laughs> spell these names correctly but yeah you can see the members of the team here this is always really important to have some names behind the project as well as obviously the KYC certificate we've seen before. Here are the tokenomics. Here we can see the tokenomics of the total supply, which is they have a lot of branches. It's like really well distributed. Um, so yeah, you can see the seed funding phase has a 9% almost. The seed funding phase number two has a five almost. Private sale, 5%. Pre-sale, 10%. Team gets a 15%. Treasury 12%, the exchange 0.5, marketing 10%, watch to earn 25%, that's a big chunk of tokens for rewards. Advisors 2.5, liquidity 5.5%, and obviously here we have the total supply. So it's a pretty good allocation of tokens in my opinion. Here we can see the distribution of the taxes. We can see in day one, the taxes for buying and selling will be 8% for both. And in the day two onwards, it will change to 0% tax for buyers and a 5% tax for sellers. 1% of the tax will go to liquidity, 4% will go to marketing and the developers. Basically to develop the metaverse, to license movies, to build their brand and the marketing campaign basically. Here we can see the roadmap. They have six phases of the roadmap, which are a lot, but only three are unlocked and the phases four through six will be unlocked as the project progresses in time. Here we can see the partnerships this project has from Pink Sale to Orbit to CryptoKit Finance. They have a lot of them. And this is a really key, key point for any crypto project to have also is having a lot of partnerships, which will help uh, push the project and achieve uh, more investors in the long term. Here we can see some of the press releases they've done from Yahoo Finance to International Business Times. These are really important guys and they will bring a lot of investment and new investors from different niches of, uh, of the internet into your project. So this is pretty cool. They are working hard to push their project into every single place they can to achieve uh, the highest level of exposure uh, available before their pre-sale. Here you can even register for their newsletter and that's pretty much it for the website guys. That's pretty much it for the website guys. Let's go ahead and check out their pre-sales. So they will launch in two different launch pads. 
in Pink Sale and in Z in Zalwin. You will need to hold their token of the Launchpad platform or Zalwin Finance in order to participate. And also in Pink Sale, which is uh, the most trustworthy in my opinion and the one I've known. And they don't even force you to hold their tokens to be able to participate in their pre sales. I am 100% sure they have done their homework in terms of marketing, as I told you before, and it will be 100% failed. So the fair launch will be from the 15th of July to the 19th. This video will be released and you will still have time to participate in this fair launch. Pink Sale has released a new batch. There, there has always been audit and KYC, and now there's a Seifu badge which it gives extra security so this is simply just a check to be extra secure that the project is safe here we can see the safe food checks no main function the owner can post trading the owner can set max transaction amount below one percent of total supply they can set a max wallet holding there is no blacklist the owner can claim contracts balance of his own tokens and the owner can set the taxes higher than 24 percent in total which is a really good thing to have in a contract because no matter what they want to do they will be let's say restricted in that sense. The liquidity is also locked for 365 days. They have locked their tokens with pink lock and the 4% of the total supply kept a locked in a wallet. It's for airdrops and for seed sale or private sales. And the auto liquidity points go to a uh, data address. I would like to remind you guys, there is a giveaway of $50 in BNB to the best comment in this video. So I would recommend you to leave a like and to leave a comment down below. Keep in mind guys, this is not financial advice. Do your own research for any project. This video is made for entertainment purposes only, as well as this is a sponsored video. So keep that in mind, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.